Yo, what up? Welcome to another episode of the Oakland Warriors podcast. I'm Patrick, and the Warriors are above 500. <laughs> 31 and 30. May they never be under 500 ever again. They beat the Sacramento Kings, and it was kind of a busted looking game, pretty ugly. And I honestly thought this was a game that they could lose, that they might lose, that they've lost several times this season already. And it would have been, in my opinion, kind of a bad loss because the season, whenever they win, it's all about smoke and mirrors, right? It's been about like, oh, yes, this is what their identity is. This is what this player is turning into and this, that, and the other, turning the corner and all this stuff. And if they lost this, then it probably would have been more of the same. It also would have sucked because they would have lost to a Sacramento Kings team missing De'Aaron Fox. And that that wouldn't have been a good look for a team trying to charge into the play-in round, into the playoffs. So that's good, right? Once again, Steph had his 30 points, 30-plus 30 points. He had 37 and again, Kelly Oubre Jr. did pretty well off the bench. He stunk from three-point land, but overall he was eight for 17, finished with 19 points. The dude's just doing what he is good at. And, you know, you're really seeing with this team that their identity is kind of solid, finally. They know, for the most part, all their roles. Maybe the rotations will be different. Maybe their minutes will adjust. Maybe there will be matchup issues. But when these dudes are out there, they know what they're supposed to do. It doesn't feel like Ubre is trying to do all the stuff that he was trying to do before. He's just in the dunker spot. He's driving. He's in the corner for corner threes. That's a good sign. And much respect to Kavon Looney. It's something that is easy to overlook, but man, after the 2019 finals, this dude was like broken ribs. He was done last season. He had that weird neuropathy, whatever. I don't even know what that is. And now he's playing like 25 minutes a game. He's not falling apart and the dude is solid. So I'm super duper happy for that guy. Although he's only like 25 years old, I would love to see him stick it out for a long time. I mean, that guy is so, so valuable. Just what he knows, his knowledge base, his experience. Once you lose that, this team is thin in that respect, thin in playoff experience. I mean, you have Steph, you have Draymond, you have Looney. That's it. Clay next year, but then that's all you have left from the dynasty. That's all you have left from deep playoff runs. So there's 11 games left in the season. Right now they're 31 and 30, so that's 61. So 11 games left in the season. And literally, it's just a sprint. Let's see what can happen. Draymond famously talked about 16 game players, right? Meaning the 16 games you need to win to win the finals and the playoffs. And we're going to see, you know, in some respects, who qualifies who can be a 16 game player yes it's only 11 games yes they might end up playing 11 or 12 or 13 or more if they get past the playing round but we'll see i mean obviously looney steph draymond all 16 game players but who else andrew wiggins he would love to become a 16 game player become known as a guy who can be clutch when it matters it'll just erase everything from his past Ubre, yeah, maybe, you know, if he balls out, maybe some team will give him a shot at a starting job. Maybe he will get $20 million a year. I still don't think it's going to happen, but hey, whatever he gets is more money than I make. Want Scott Anderson? I mean, that guy is definitely going to be a 16 game player. He's just aggressive, smart, unselfish, makes the right play. That dude is definitely, definitely going to be with his team for a long time. But who else? I don't know. I don't know. We're going to have to see. We're going to have to see who really like stands up and keeps rolling. Or we're going to see who helps this team tank. <laughs> That's something to keep an eye on. You know, I mean, again, it's all it's all about fun the rest of the season, I guess. Seeing what Steph can do, seeing what kind of noise, who they can scare in the playoffs. But it's really, really about next season and who is worth keeping. Who can take you deep into the playoffs? And we'll find out. 
That's another episode of the Oakland Warriors podcast. Be sure to subscribe wherever you get your podcast. Feel free to hit me up on Twitter at Patrick Epino, E-P-I-N-O, or at Oakland Warriors. Check us out at OaklandWarriors.com. And don't forget to tell your fellow Warrior fan friends to tune in and listen. Looking forward to this stretch run. Let's get it. That's it. Music in this episode provided by Paper Sun. Special thanks to Paul Amardo for production support. See you next time, and go Dubs.